Morning legends and welcome back to day four of the Cumbria way this morning. We nipped the shop, iced coffee, plastic bag full of filthy sugar, <laughs> monster energy and just sugar. Um, yeah, we got stranded last night, couldn't get on the campsite, booked into a little B&B, &B, um, charged everything up, had a pint and a kebab and now it's time to start day four. Dave's in good fettle. Oh yeah. Dave's going well. My heels are goosed. I have flat feet and, my, and I just generally have foot problems. So I knew there would be some issues, but we go, we move, strap up, crack on. 17 miles over the hills today and uh, an evening call back. So <sighs> I'll show you the B&B a little bit and tell you what it is and how much it costs and where it is in case you want to use it because it was decent and uh, we're going to have breakfast oh. so this is it legend elm tree lodge it was 100 quid for the night but it really pulled me out of the you know what because we were trapped without a campsite so, full shower, toilet facilities, and voila! And yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. Um, really interesting guy who owns it as well. Uh, expedition leader, Everest and stuff, so really cool. As always, leave no trace. And uh, let's get going. Oost. So, a belting little guest house there. Did us our bacon butties to go, so we could crack on. We didn't have to wait around to eat breakfast in. So it's about quarter past eight now, and we're going to crack off early doors to uh, get a head start on the day, because yesterday got away from us a bit. And uh, 17 miles today, load of ascent. So we want to give ourselves plenty of time so we can take breaks when needed. Uh, feet are a bit sore, but we'll crack on. Hey, we'll get through town, uh, get up towards Lap Rig, and we'll bring you back. Team Orange back out in force today. Team Jasper Carrot crossing the uh, 66. A66. Yeah. Get your kicks on the A66. I just want to put a disclaimer out saying that we do wash these tops. <laughs> They're not just, <laughs> not just wearing the same top every day without cleaning it. Gets washed. So. Whew. <laughs> yeah, adapt and overcome, innit? So, gonna hit some ascent now, which is gonna be a taxing start to the morning. But, we move. Charles, Charles there. No First gate of the day. It's gonna get steep, but it's quite a lot of ascent. But once we get to the top of High Pike, is it High Pike? High Pike, yeah. That's the highest point then, isn't it? Highest point is the whole trip. Whole trail, yeah. And then that's the last ascent, basically, of it, isn't it? Yeah. So it's going to be a tough day. Obviously, three long days walking already done, but through Lap Wriggle Woods, we go. Not bad, is it? Not bad. Grisdale. Pike over there, that ridge coming up over towards Dodd and Skidder. As always in cloud. And up we pop. Gate here with a stunning view behind it, which would be an ideal place to do one of those cool YouTube walk pies. 
little drive-bys, but day four, day four drive-bys are gonna be on a minimum, aren't they? Walking back to the camera day four, maybe not. Maybe do a few, I'll try and get a few in. Oh, oh, sod him. They'll have to watch, won't they? Get involved. So we're this way, but well, lap rig is just up there. You can walk around the edge and up, or straight across that field like I did last time. But not for us. That path winds its way up there that goes towards Little Man. is steep, mate. But thank God we're not doing that today. We're this way, and then we have a side path that goes around long scale. Is it here? Yeah. So happy days. And it's the famous. Fa 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 Great Mel fell. <laughs> Great Mel fell, little Mel fell. We went up the side of that in the snow, Dave. On your right. Oh, yeah, that was cool fed. And cool in the Dodds there. Oh, Andy Dodds. Scandalous. But yeah, we crack on up here. I don't know if we'll go past the uh, Shepherd's Monument or not. But we'll see. If we do, we'll show you. On the hill, I don't know if you'll make it out. Is the Shepherd's Monument, which is just a stone cross dedicated to a couple of shepherds who worked these fells died many years ago but uh, we're the lower path so I wasn't walking all the way up there to cut across we're going to be along here along that edge and round oh, it's a strange old thing I've seen this uh, walk on many a YouTube video and it just sort of dawns on you that like well, you're there now doing it like the bull field on day one was worn and Steak pass was another stuff like that where you just see them on video and then all of a sudden you're on the trail and you're doing it yourself. But oh, what a what a trail this is! Absolutely beautiful legends. Sleeves at the top, brah. They nice mate. Om nom 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 nom. nom. <laughs> Oh, look, mate. The mountains. Mountains, Gandalf. We want to see mountains. We'll be leaving the mountains of the Lake District or the, the Northern Lakes behind shortly and heading out into the wilderness. We'll be followed, Dev. No, that's the low path, look. Oh, sorry, I, I, I thought you meant that. No, I don't know. Yeah, so, this is the Cumbria Way path. So we'll only see people possibly on the Cumbria Way, north and south today, really. Unless, we, until we get up until to, get to Lingy, Hutt. Play Lingy Hutt and High Rig and that, so. Pike. High Pike. <laughs> call it a High Rig on every, I think I called it High Rig on my fucking video. But, uh, yeah. So, leaving these gorgeous mountains behind. Amazing. Back into the countryside. Back into the countryside and in amongst the mountains. The very north, eastern, eastern mountains really, aren't they? So, let's crunch some miles out. Come up. There you go. Whee! Meh, pack you out. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey. United. <laughs> definitely uh We've just done our good deed. Definitely that sheep was yeah. that lamb's mother, wasn't it? Yeah. There you go. The fence, it? Yeah, it's got through the fence and somehow couldn't get back. Necessarily wouldn't do that, let, let a sheep through a gate, but that was pretty obvious, pretty right? obvious that it was on the wrong side and it was in distress. If we'd have left it, could have got its head caught in that fence and kiffed it, so well done, Dave. Dave really? saved it there. I stole the gate. The gatekeeper. Hold door. Hold the door. Hold door. Right, let's crack on. Traverse path. 
It's not over here. Right on the edge. Ooh, very narrow, but it's a lovely path. A lovely path, mate. Great carver in the distance. And this is Bonscale Pike on the left, which I've done. Which I've done. I'm a Wayne Wright's journey. But yeah, this uh, little traverse path is an absolute beaut. Loving it. So you stay there, we'll walk round. It's okay. Don't run away. It's okay. Trampled that poor sheep now, you. What a terrible mother. Terrible mother. Get it packed off for 10 minutes. This is the view, I'll show you. So, over towards Great Carver. And uh, not behind it. Down this beautiful valley. Him. <laughs> Look at the view. Stunning, mate. So we're going to sit. I'm going to sit here for ten minutes and just herd the back off in the breeze and chill. That's break over. Ten minutes. Packs off. Dried out a bit. Add a minute. Put some suntan lotion on, because you have to put it on every two hours apparently. Yes, Alex. yes, Alex. <laughs> I hadn't forced him to stop. He wouldn't have put some time loading on. Oh, shut up. Yeah, I would. So, <laughs> off we pop. Once again, off towards Great Carver, which is beautiful. This is long scale at the side of us. Up there. Let's just crack on. Put some miles in. Ah, so you can just see in those woods, it's Skidder House. It's the most remote youth hostel in the Lake District. Is it in the Lake District or anywhere? In England and Wales, I think. In England and Wales. Ooh. But yeah, we're quoting Dave on that. Dave says that's true. So if it is wrong, you just nip over to DA Outdoors <laughs> and just give him a load of abuse. But yeah, Skidder House, we'll give you a look at it when we're walking past. We're going to go past Skidder House, turn right, and you see that path over there below Great Carver, that's the path we're taking. Bring you back at the house. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, Skidder House Hostel, the highest hostel, 470 metres in England or Wales, according to the outdoors. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, so this is inside uh, Skidor house. Reception and shop. Shop soon opens at 5 p.m. Just a little cooking facilities, DIY tea and coffee, all drinks and snacks a pound. Um, seating area lounge, bedrooms, scullery. So, yeah, that's the facilities for you. Where's the little lounge? Some photos. Chess. Uh, tea, please. Games. Guitar, if you're so inclined. Jack and Butchie. No. Sorry, Butchie lad. I'll leave the guitar to you. And here's the view. Chess. Backgammon. Not bad, is it? Oh. So there you go, Skidor House, 470 metres, and you can come and stay here, YHA Association, get on their website, book a stay here, and come and experience it, and come and, come and walk up these fells, so the northern fells are amazing, and people just don't come and see them that often, imagine it.
I'm imagining it legend staying here. So I'll be staying here at some point. So um, yeah, get involved and let's crack on. Done with Skidder House. We didn't plan to stay there, did we, or anything, but we ended up having, oh, we ended up having a nice brew. <laughs> and a nice chat with the, the fellow looking after the place. Some of the people who've stayed there and stuff, and it's just, what a cracking facility. Get in, get up here and get staying or I'm going to try and do it myself. So, right, Great Carver, we're going to take this path here that goes along, not behind Great Carver, towards Carrick Fell. But we're not going to go as far as that, we're going to go around the corner and then head up towards Lingy Hut. So let's crack on, legends! Heading towards Lingy Hut now. Just discussing, checking any any babies have been conceived in Lingy Hut. It's like, there's any, <laughs> there's any little babies floating around called Lingy. Like, our Lingy. <laughs> Come on, just jump in, Lingy, up for 20 seconds with me, I love. Give you the best time of your life. Oh. Ah! And if your name is Lingy, maybe you should ask your mum and dad if they were fell walkers. <laughs> you know what they say in life, Dave? In a field full of heather, just be gorse. <laughs> Look at that bugger. That's like an FU to the world, isn't it? Here's a famous little spot on the uh, Cumbria Way walk. The Stone Circle. Liam, good block outdoors, camped in there. Nice bridge over the water, you can get a bit of water out of that. Cumbria Way carries on around the corner. We're batting on, no breaks for us yet. Until we get to the bottom of the Lingy Hut path that goes past the quarry. We're going to have a break there. Do some wild paddling. Have a coffee. So this section of the Cumbria Way we've done before. On um, when we did Carrick Fell and uh, I. Hi. Crag. Pike. Hi, Pike. Say it wrong every time. Hi, Pike. Pike, 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 Pike. Hi, Pike. Not in Great Carver. We'd, we'd come back on this path back towards the car. So we've done this before, so if there's a bus, we're going to catch it. But there isn't a bus. So we're going to walk it. But we've stuck the, stuck the sticks away for... Uh, and the next double while we get to this little bridge and then we're going to have that wild paddle and uh, hot chocolate and a bit of food I've gone for a flapjack a Bakewell tart one Dave's got a Caesar salad wrap because it's from Posh Blackpool so we'll crack on are you legends? So, Dave just stopped to fix his stone in his shoe or something and I was just walking along here on my own, down a path I've walked before and it just got me to thinking, just before we come on this trip, a couple of weeks before, I buried my uncle, my uncle Alan, he's only in his mid to 60s, you know, my dad's younger brother and, uh, you know, really sad, cancer. Again, affecting people's lives, cutting people down. You know, he was a very keen fisherman, he loved fishing. And uh, stopped him going out doing what he wanted to do. So, I was just having a little moment of reflection. Sort of thinking about him, my dad and his brothers and sisters. And, you know, sort of how happy I am but like how much I appreciate the fact that you know I am here still like I cancer as well and I know it wasn't technically life-threatening testicular cancer 
as I caught it early and stuff, but it was still a scary time in my life. And uh, I'm just so grateful to be here and doing these walks and wild camps, making these YouTube videos so my kids and grandkids can watch and make memories and just live the life that I want to. You know, I think a lot of time people get bogged down with money and possessions and I'm not like that. Don't get me wrong, you need money. Like I need money to come and do these trips and stuff. I'm skint the majority of the time because I spend all my spare money, what little I have, on coming to the Lake District or going to the Peak District and filming these videos and stuff. But that is my hobby. That's like, just like being a golfer or being a cricketer or being a footballer or whatever you spend your money on, drinking, whatever, partying, holidays. These are my holidays. So, yeah, I was just having a little quiet moment of reflection, you know, and uh, just feeling grateful. Grateful to be here, walking from Ulverston to Carlisle, 75 miles or whatever it is, with my mate Dave, who, you know, I've met through this. I only met Dave through the walking and wild camping and making YouTube videos, which I never intended to do. Uh, it was just a place to store my photos and videos at first, but it's turned into so much more and I, I just absolutely love it. So yeah, a little moment of reflection and just feeling so blessed and happy, you know. Life isn't a cakewalk. I'm going through stuff at the moment and uh, I've got big changes and stuff happening. But the one thing about life is doesn't, it's not over till it's over. It doesn't stop till it stops. You can't take a break. So you've got to keep moving. So that's what we do. We move people. So this one goes out to my uncle Alan this walks for you brother and I hope you're at peace and uh, the rest of my is <laughs> my dad and his brothers and sisters who you know had to bury their sibling so sad man but hopefully he's at peace he's not in any more pain so yeah just a little moment of reflection and just so grateful to be here. So grateful to every one of you who watches these videos, but especially who comments, likes and comments on them. Because that's what I love. And I absolutely love it when someone says, I've, just, I've done this walk after watching your video or I started wild camping because I've watched your video. Or hopefully I watched your video uh, your, Cumbria Way series and I've booked and I'm going doing the Cumbria Way that would make me so proud so yeah legends count your blessings and enjoy yourself while you're here love you and away so here we go legends we're gonna get down by this bridge for a break. Skidor House, 3.5 miles, that's where we've been. We're going up there next to Lingy Hut, but we're gonna have a little break here first. Not a bad spot for a wild paddle. Spot to lunch for Dave. Flapjack for me. It begins the ascent to Lingy Hut and it'll take us past the quarry, which we'll show you as well. I've done this ascent and descent a few times before. It's not the, the most fun, 
Lingy Hut you can see Black box in the distance <sighs> Let's go baby There we go The most remarkable mine What is it though? What about Sussamana Corollary? In, in the glorious St Helens If you want to know about this mine Just pause it now and read all that But if not, don't <laughs> Wolf art? <laughs> oh dear. Right, I'm cracking on. Action for you there. All you quarry files. <laughs> Don't think that's a thing, is it? Might be. Might be. If you're a quarry fine, you know, get help. Wild paddling pool there. I've decided if I nick a stone from the top of High Pike, I'm going to take this stone up with me. And then if I exchange it for another stone, then it's not there's no imbalance then in nature is there it's still on this hill what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two stones off leave two, take one home with me and then that's uh, balanced up you got that side can't you? well done mate well done mate like fucking Spider-Man me here. So we're doing the scramble by the gill, which according to the OS maps is the official Cambria way. But it is fun, but it's more difficult than the other path, so it's your choice. The official Cambria way, it goes up by the gill. The official Cambria way, it goes up by the hill. The official Cumbria way and goes past Lingy Hut. The official Cumbria way. The official Cumbria way. Cumbria. She's the. She is the. The one and only Lingy Hut. I think this is my fourth visit to Lingy Hut. Oh, it's a belter of a thing. Absolute bloody belter of a thing, mate. Let's go and have a brew. A lingy up brew. Oh. It's a public footpath on the official Cumbria Way. Ten legends. Back again. Oh. Superb. Let's sign the boo. So that's lingy up box. We're off to high rig now. Pike. Pike. <laughs> We're off to High Pike now. I thought I was being dead clever then. Uh, just completed our fourth break. The Faf Fest. There can't be anyone that does hiking, walking and wild camping who faffs more than us. We're just constantly faffing around. But we're getting up to the second windiest point in the planet. And high pike, and bring you back. It's the her people, the highest point of the official Cumbria Way. The highest point of the Cumbria Way. We'll be there in 20 minutes. Come on, come on, legends. Oh, here we go. The highest point of the Cumbria Way, Jeff. Nice to see this back as well, even if it is a new one. If you tea leaf that, you're an absolute moron. Hi, Pike. Beautiful. The highest point. That Cumbria way trip, mate. Binzy in the far distance over that. Skidor around Blencafra and over towards Carrick Fell. The Superb. Right, let's bat on. Let's get to the This long downhill grassy section now. We're going to try and batter through. But I find the uh, downhill sections hard on the alt feet. But I'm going to bat through this and try and get to 
It is half three now, so we're going to try and get to Colbeck as soon as possible because the campsite's going to be heaving. So I've heard there's going to be a rave. <laughs> what is it, Dave? Hey, what? Don, 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 don. It is what, Dave? Yeah. What was that? that low Pike. Low Pike, and there's Colbeck. There, that's where we're going. So let's bat off. This shall come by a faff. East. Manage. Shaft. Shaft. There's grass path. Oh. Last descent of the Cumbria Way, and then all our fell walking is done, legends. Oh, when we come off this grass. Checking. All right, legends, we're having that as us being off the fells, which is bittersweet, and obviously, there's some uh, cows. Or as I call them, far away she. <laughs> right, let's go. Gosh. So me and Dave think that the uh, the fell walking section of the Cumbria Way 2024 20, is over. Over. Is over, mate. Mm. What do you think of day four, Dave? Loved it. Favourite day. Favourite day? Favourite day so far. Favourite day. I love day three, me. Even though it was like proper hard because I don't know, it was like. I think it was the first day we realised that we had to proper tech breaks in that. Well, day two we did a bit better, yeah. didn't we? But day three, I think it was the one where we properly did it. And we like stopped and had lunches and did some wild paddling and that. I just. I just love the sense of remoteness and day four certainly gives you that. Yeah. Uh, certainly gives you the sense of remoteness. Um, that, that's the, what I love. So day four for me so far. Day three for me because um, a lot of it as well I hadn't done. Um, and so like today I'd done it all before, more or less. Like the, the path going up to Skidder House. I hadn't been up that path, but I knew the area, I knew all the mountains and stuff. But coming over uh, Stake Pass yesterday, then that was all new territory for me. There's like mountains I ain't even seen. Eagle Crag and all that. Yeah. I ain't even seen them. Didn't know where they were. So that was cool. And like there was lovely little spots for like dipping your toes in the water. We found that little uh, place where we had the lamb pasties and ice cream and I think that's what makes these trips when you have those like on day two when we had that little we just come across that little mad calf and had cups of tea with cakes the flock in? The fl no, the day two the garden tea rooms oh the garden tea rooms yeah, yeah like little things like that and like yesterday with the flock in and like today that's in our house we were just going to walk past and have a quick look but we went in and we made a brew and had a bar of chocolate and stuff so I think to make these little trips really memorable you have to just when you come across something do it like if you come across a little tea room or a little honesty box or whatever buy a cake get a can of pop go into a cafe and sit down and have a coffee and a brew and a cake or whatever don't kill it trying to beat a time or be back to get into the pub or whatever just enjoy being out because it's awesome mate right we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna stop talking now and crack on so we get the pub <laughs> we're gonna go back on it no it's here will ferrell <laughs> you know <laughs> he's sitting when he's djing and he has his hat backwards and his shades on and that <laughs> oh no that drummer who's the drummer I think Will Ferrell looks a bit like that drummer as well. What's he out of? Oh, I'll put a picture on here now. Up here somewhere, the drummer that Dave looks like. Oh, Will Ferrell. I'll put both of them on. Right, I think I'm getting delusional in the sun. I'm going to go to the pub. Dave, 
Dave, taking me up the dirt track. <laughs> <laughs> oh, matron. Cumbria Way footpath, 75 yards. Electric fence, Cumbria Way. Shady woodland. Nice though. Nice to get out at sun, innit? Yeah. Ooh. An old lady with a dog just informed us that we're nearly at the pub. So she's lying. I'm going to go back and kick a walking stick out of her hand. I wouldn't do that really. I'll the elderly. Woo! Carlisle, 13 miles, mate. Tomorrow. The odd fellows, arms. <laughs> Named after you, Dave. <laughs> we are campsite adjacent here. Callback camping. Smashed it. Well, that's our mate's uh, bell tent. So they said. Is that their house then? Because they said their house was by the campsite. Yeah. So here we go, Colbeck campsite. If you're not going to slum it like the rest of us and sit in a... If you're not slumming it like the rest of us in our little tent... Oh man, hang on. I can't walk through there because my tent will rip it off. Look at that. Does it mean the Cumbrian way? What I suggest is that next time. <laughs> the Cumbria way in style, There you go, Alex. I might bring you back. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, yeah, it's not it's not a dirt it's not a dirt the next mid P1 though. Hey <laughs> legend, so this is the Colbert campsite. Best campsite ever. Best campsite ever. There you go. There's the Durston X mid P1 solid up. It's a shower block, absolutely ideal, and a five minute walk to the pub, so that's where we're going now, we're going to go to the pub for a spot of tea, maybe a few pints, definitely a few pints, and uh, we'll show you how it goes anyway, so what a glorious, glorious day on. the Cumbria way enjoyed every moment of it but it's not over yet with 15 miles to go in the morning but a lot of road walking and fields and walking by streams so that should be easy enough but me and Dave me and Dave the Rave are off to the boozer for a spot of tea and a few ales so we'll bring you back and show you that Right, we had a great night in the old fellas. Um, amazing campsite, brilliant facilities, and you know, Colbeck, what a lovely little place. Great little pub, great food, great service, lovely people. Campsite's amazing, facilities amazing, you know, costs absolutely nothing. So, it's a no-brainer. We'll see in the morning for day five and the end of the Cumbria Way. <laughs>